Today we're doing a tutorial video in real time that will show you how you can create this nice pixel art sunset. For this tutorial I'm using a Sprite software, a 180 by 120 pixel canvas, and this palette I created. The link to the palette is in the description. Okay, let's get started. We're going to come up to New File, create a new canvas that is 180 pixels wide and 120 pixels tall. And we're going to load in our palette here by using the hamburger menu. Load palette, select that file you downloaded. And here it is. We can go ahead and get rid of our transparent entry in the palette. And we'll start by renaming this layer to Sky. And what we're going to do is we're going to select about the top two thirds of our canvas. And we're going to fill it with this yellow color. So you can use the F button to just fill your current selection with the current color. Okay, we're going to leave that there for now going to create a new layer. We'll call this Mountains 01. And we're going to use this second darkest purple shade here. And with a single pixel with brush, we're just going to paint in some distant mountains here. And we'll fill in this area with our paint bucket tool G to select that and then create a new layer mountains 02 in front of that one this is going to be our darkest color here we'll zoom in a little bit and create this in front of our other layer These are more rolling hills than mountains. We'll fill that in, but we are gonna add some distant trees on it here. So we'll do that by just doing a couple pixel tall trees here, some single pixel tall trees. It's kind of hard to pick out the ones in front of the more distant mountains. So don't worry too much about those. I just want the idea of trees here. Okay, we've got some trees on our mountains. Let's head back to the sky now. And we're gonna find a place to put our setting sun. So we're gonna use our brightest color for the setting sun here. And we'll up the brush size till we have something that we want. Maybe it's setting right here in between these two hills. Okay. And then we're going back down to a single pixel wide brush and we're just going to loosely lay in some light expanding from the sun here. Just lots of clicks. Okay, that's good for that. Now we're going to select our mid-tone orange color here and we're going to kind of do that same type of loose clicking in an arc around our sun here. This is the point where the sky kind of starts to dim. And then we want to bring it down here behind our mountain layers because what we want to do 
we can get rid of our mountain layers, hide them for now. Make sure that we're all connected here. We want to fill in the outside with this orange color. Oh, we're not all filled in somewhere. Sometimes it's tricky to spot. There it is, I think. There we go. Put our mountains back in. And we'll take the dark red color. And we'll do the same kind of thing. Now we're going to come back and kind of mix these a little bit. So don't worry too much how it looks right now. And we bring it down here and down here. Do we have any gaps here? A couple. And we'll fill the outside. More gaps. Let's look behind the mountains. Ah, uh, uh -huh. we missed some over here. There we go. And our darker yet red color. You can add some additional distance between the hues and values as you go here. So the distance between this bright color and the yellow color, the distance between the yellow color and the orange color gets more as you get darker in value. Okay, let's check behind our mountains again. Got lots of gaps here. Okay. Nope, oh, we must still have a gap somewhere. Aha. Uh -huh. Over here. There we go. Okay. Now we've got kind of the outline of our sky's gradation here. Now we can come in with our brightest color. Oops, we want the paintbrush tool. Select that with B. And we add some more of this. We'll mix some orange in here as well. We're just doing some loose clicks to mix the, the colors together. This is what's going to make our setting sun sky. Or I guess it's called a sunset. Okay, so now that we've got things mixed a little bit, we're going to start adding some features into the sky here, some clouds that are kind of leading your eye towards the middle of the screen. So we're going to take this second darkest red tone here, and we're just going to do some swooping motions away from the center. these out a little more after we get them built in here. We're also going to take some of our purple here. We're going to mix that in as we get 
closer to the edge of the screen here. For this part from the sun. We'll go ahead and fill that in. We might even have a little bit of that up here. that cloudy sunset sky feel. To make it really pop, we're going to take some of our mid-tone orange here, and we're going to kind of line the bottom of our, our cloud structures with a line of orange to kind of indicate the sun bouncing off the bottom of some clouds. And then we can take some of the darker hue here and line the back of the clouds. Okay, some final touches here. We'll mix in some more colors. Help our gradation a bit. And we might even add some real bright bits in, in our mid-tone section here. setting sun sky sunset again <laughs> all right it's time to move on to our lake so we're going to create a new layer we'll call it lake here and that's going to be this bottom third of our composition will be the lake but first what we're going to do is we're going to right click on each of these layers and we're going to duplicate them. Duplicate Mountain 2, Duplicate Mountain 1, and Duplicate the Sky. Now that we've got these versions with copy after the name, and we're gonna group all those up. So we're gonna select them, move our cursor to the bottom of the yellow selection, and click, and we can move all of the copies to be next to one another. And then we're going to merge them down into a single layer. So we've got all of our copies in a single layer, and we'll call this Lake. Nope. Oh, we'll call it Lake. Lake Reflection. So we'll select that entire layer. And we can do that by hitting control and selecting the layer. Now that we've got it selected, if you do shift V, oh, we wanna make sure we're on the right layer here. Lake reflection, shift V, that will flip it upside down. We can kind of move it down here into place. We don't need the entirety of the sky showing in the lake. And then we want to kind of scrunch it down. There we go. And we want to add in a, a shoreline here that's a little brighter. Okay. I guess we don't need this lake layer. We'll get rid of that. Okay, now we want to mix up our reflection a little bit because there will be some 
sunlight that will reflect off of some of the ripples in the water where these mountains are. So we'll select our yellow color and just add in some ripples. As we get further away from our sun here, we're going to have darker colored ripples. We want these to be horizontal, small strokes. Remember to change colors as you get further to the right here. Okay, we can even do that in the water here. Add some ripples of the lighter color that come toward the viewer. Okay, that's a good looking reflection. But a reflection is always a bit more blurred than the thing that it is reflecting. So to get that type of effect, we're going to go up here to edit, FX, and convolution matrix. Oh, sorry. First, we want to select our lake reflection layer. Get that selected. Edit FX convolution matrix, and we're going to do this blur three by three hard to add a blur effect to our lake. All right, that looks nice. As a final touch, we're going to add some birds in the sky here. So we'll select our darkest color. And we'll just add some random bird shapes. They're not all going to be the V's. And they can get a little lighter as they go away. There's this flock of birds that's flying away from us here. One bigger one right in the front here. Okay, that looks nice. I hope you enjoyed this sunset tutorial, and I can't wait to see how yours turned out. Until next time, have a wonderful day.